morning morning we're out on another tour uh, it's Sunday morning uh, we're heading to the Brecon Beacons in Wales uh, first day we've just got to get to Ross on Wye and so we're gonna leave where I live in Bedfordshire to um, we're going to try and get over to Oxford and then we're going to go through the Cotswolds and there we're going to look at some villages um, before we make our way over to the Wye Valley and uh, and then continue the, uh, day two to uh, to the Breckens staying overnight in uh, Ross and Wye tonight and for the other two days we're staying in Abergavenny. Hopefully we'll have um, good weather. It's uh, sunny and cloudy today. It is um, forecast for a bit of rain, but uh, hopefully we should be a bit lucky. This is the Dunstable Downs and behind me is Ivanhoe Beacon little campsite over there this is um, the top of the Chilterns basically we're going to go partly through the Chilterns on the way to the Cotswolds so we're just approaching Pitstone Windmill and this is uh, where YouTuber Royal Jordanian reviews some of his bikes and comes and parks over there and uh, gives it a spin around these lanes. So this is Oxford, Oxford City. Don't normally see this place because uh, there's such tight parking restrictions that nobody ever comes in it. It's a nice town though. Full of old colleges and churches, town halls, and I, I think it's Georgian, I'm not sure. Certainly, a lot of buses. <laughs> Where's he going? We just left Oxford and now we're heading on the uh, A44 all the way to a little place called um, Bibri. It's a very quaint little village um, that's extremely, well it's full of tourists all the time. So I don't think you'll ever really get a good chance to see it without any cars in it. We'll give it a go. It's Sunday in June, it's bound to be packed. Um, let's see what it's like. This is Bladon. Bladon. West York, West Oxfordshire. There's some nice houses.
recommend a ride through there, that's quite nice. Certainly nice. Um, little cottages, stone cottages with roses all over them. So this is the uh, village of Burford. Maybe it's a... Uh, well, it's beautiful. I mean, Oxford stone or Cotswold stone. Pretty trees. And I've got to go right here. I think this is a bit of a pilgrimage for a lot of foreigners. That's beautiful down there, look. Right, let's see if we can get across here. So we've got all the coffee houses and the restaurants and the fancy clothes shops. It's probably got banks as well, but you can't see them. Little bikers. Pretty there, isn't it? This is the uh, village of Bibri. It's, uh, it's got um, a nice little river running through the middle of it. Got little brick walls, cute little houses. Um, I think it's going to be full of tourists though, but we'll see. Okay, so that was Bibri. I took some nice photos there. And now we're going to get some fuel and going to get some food and drink. And then we're going to be going to, well, heading towards Sirencester, but ultimately uh, Gloucester uh, and Cheltenham. And uh, then a bit further over to the Y Valley. So this is a little village called Barnsley. Not Barnsley up north, this is a little bit uh, prettier. Quaint. Everything's so neat. It's a pub, it's a village pub. I think they've got some sort of directive about having any kind of um, displays outside any of the houses. heading to a town called Stroud. I've just left Sirencester and I'm on my way to uh, Cheltenham and Gloucester, that sort of direction, across the Cotswolds. It's all very relaxing. We're just doing an easy 46 through the woods. It's all very nice and pleasant. And it's not too hot. 
well it is hot but in the shade it's, uh, it's quite pleasant oh I should have gone that way yeah we'll go this way what does it matter GoPro session is dying. It gets very hot. It won't shut itself off. I've only had it a couple of years. Rubbish. Probably just run out its warranty and then so it decides to die. Having said that I might buy another one. But I'm wondering what the better ones are. I think there's a drift give the drift a go. A bit, a bit more of a helmet cam that one. And there's countless other there's countless other um, cheaper action cameras available. I think that was about it was about two hundred pounds that when I bought that. or something anyway so this looks like it's the center of shroud to it, I mean there's a lot of, uh, it had a very small centre, lots of nice towns around the outside, there might be some more nice buildings on the way out, Ooh, really smell the wild garlic here, there's all these old sort of factory buildings, So we just went through a place called Edge. E D G E. That was alright. Oh no, this is maybe this is Edge as well. We're on the edge of Edge. I suppose we'll never be in the centre, will we? We'll always be on the edge. I have noticed that some bike riders won't say hello to you if you're not riding a similar bike to them or wearing uh, leathers or wearing jeans. Or It's like they'll only say hello to their own kind really learners tend to say hello to everybody I think I say hello to everybody I don't think I discriminate I wonder if there is elitism in the bike world oh we're in Gloucester already not sure the last time I ever saw an Austin Maxi. Is that even? I'm not sure what that is. Is that a Van der Pla Princess? Is that what it says? They look good though. That's proper 70s, probably even 60s. That is. Sneaking 
feeling that we're going to start entering the Y Valley soon. Um, we are five miles from Ross on Y. I wonder if it might be worth taking a detour uh, as so not to get to Ross on Y too early. There's no need to get to the hotel so, so early. We'll go for another little jaunt. might have to stop and just have a look at the map see where we could go or maybe we get to the hotel dump our stuff come out again Herefordshire well. the moody cow Country pub. The moody cow. <laughs> 